Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week we're making benches again, and that's coming up next. <laughs> Suggested that we mount the benches 
probably a 300mm foot from the wall which is okay but it now means that you're not getting any support from the wall unless I do a, an intermediate rail going backwards at the top of the, um, the bench I'm going to probably make the bottom the bottom of the feet go back 300 mil just to space it out the right distance but it's a little bit of suck it and see um, I think they also want to know quite what we are capable of because they are I suppose ever mindful of the fact from what we do that they'll end up with a shed full of pallet wood that the kids will get splinters on and all sorts Now I'd already had a quick play with bits of timber to get a rough idea of what I wanted to do. I was going to put two pieces of timber on top uh, with a side cloak front and back uh, and then support it with two pieces of the decking type timber screwed together and put them onto some CLS timber for support. So that had already been thought about, planned I was just going to have a, a base unit, an upright and a top rail for the planking to sit on uh, purely and simply because 40mm by 170 or whatever, which is what those two pieces make up, is, is a lot more expensive. Uh, so I dug out the pocket hole jig to um, sort out the fixings. It's something that really I should have bought a much better pocket hole jig when I bought this for the uh, shed construction because it's um, doing sterling service but it's getting a little bit uh, tired now and really I should have bought a much better quality um, aluminium or alloy one um, this is as I say becoming far more used than I ever thought it would be um, then I attached the two sheets of timber together that I was using for the supports. As I say, this was a cheaper way of getting a 40mm thick timber than um, going out and buying 150 by 40 And then the pocket hole screws were put in um, just to secure it. I hadn't got the right length screws and as I will mention in a later video um, I did make the mistake of using traditional screws on the pocket holes for this test but um, it at least proved the concept of having the uh, the base there which would be screwed down to the floor. That's the prototype leg support now finished. It needed an extra pocket hole on the opposite side. I've got two on one side and one on that side because it was tending to just tilt if you pushed it one way. But that now is pretty solid. That's not going anywhere. Um, the two benches slaps on top will sit on top of that and then there'll be the downside cloaking those. So we, we agreed that what I'll do is make a, a single bench first <coughs> as a prototype and then they can have a look at it, make sure they're happy with it, make sure it's what they want and then if there's any adaptation needed again it's not a matter of changing everything we just have to change the one um, the only problem I had was that the timber I'd seen looked to be being knocked out at um, clearance prices <coughs> so I need to make sure I can get it first of all so which is why I'm going over there before I go to many sheds today and that I get all of it now Yes, they are on clearance. Um, three pounds for uh, eighteen hundred long. Four pounds for the two point fours. Which is probably what I'll need.
a good morning's uh, start. We've got the 15 pieces of timber I wanted. There were 16 in the rack and one of them was damaged beyond use. So that was fortunate. Uh, it's also applied the 10% discount code because it classes it as furniture rather than uh, a garden furniture and equipment rather than timber. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So overall, a good start to the morning. I should be a few minutes late at Mini Sheds, but that's not really a problem because I've now got something to do when I get there.